Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and this is my channel for beginners in Adobe Illustrator and in a graphic design. And today is going to be paper cutout effect tutorial. It's one of the trends last years and of course 2020. If you're interested, please keep watching. Ok guys, let's start our tutorial. At first we need rectangle tool, hold shift and draw the rectangle like this. Select black and white gradient. Here we need this color and here this. Ok, let's look. Yes, I like it. Now select this, uh, no, sorry, this color and draw rectangle here. OK. Now select ellipse tool and draw ellipses like this. OK. It will be like your clouds or snow, something like this. OK. Now select here in the empty places you need more ellipses. Now select this rectangle and ellipses and Pathfinder Unite. OK. Now select this color and one more time, we need to draw our clouds like this. OK. Yes, I like it. Uh, now select this tool here, zero. And now select only this color and select here and again Pathfinder Unite. Send to back, background and new clouds. Now select this color and ellipse tool. OK, let's draw first ellipse. OK, you need to turn it like me or like you want, like this. A little down. Turn it. Don't worry about empty places. It's OK. Now we need white color and ellipse too. Draw one more ellipse. And the last one here. Let's move them a little. Make it like this. OK, select a little up. I think it's great. Let's try to up these ellipse. No, Ctrl Z. Yes, step back. OK, now I like it. Now let's fix our empty place, empty places. Draw here ellipse and here ellipse. And 
select and one more here select uh, the new ellipses and these and pathfinder unite now background and these clouds send back okay here we have one more empty place select this color and ellipse like this and all these send to back okay uh, now copy and paste background and select these ellipse and pathfinder intersect one more time copy and paste and pathfinder intersect and one more time copy and paste and this pathfinder intersect okay now i like it let's move on select this shape and now effect style and drop shadow here we need 15 here 0 and here 10 preview okay now select this shape effect style drop shadow and here 0 0 10 okay this bring to front yes i like it uh, now select this shape and again effect drop shadow and here we need 35 and here 3 and here 10 okay yes i like it now select this shape and effect style drop shadow and here 15 here 15 and here 10 okay and this shape effect drop shadow here 15 15 here 15 and here you can change the color let's select dark blue color for example this one okay yes i like it now let's draw the moon select this color and ellipse tool and here our moon effect uh, drop shadow shadow and these options here 10 this color and ok yes i like it uh, now let's draw uh, something like christmas tree or pine tree here free okay copy and paste our rectangle and move the uh, make the copy bigger and move it down like this again copy and paste this shape and make it bigger and a little down select it align this option and this option let's look i think this shape a little down and this shape a little up select align again okay i like it pathfinder unite and this color here our christmas tree okay now copy and paste it and make it smaller and put it here this color okay and one more time copy and paste it and make it more smaller and 
and put it here and this color and now select no um now let's add more christmas trees just copy and paste it and uh, put in where you want just in your taste now select these shapes effect drop shadow drop shadow and here are these options but here we need dark gray color for example um, this color okay okay yes i like it now this shape bring to front and this and this shape bring to front now these shapes select and select clouds and background and send to back okay let's look yes i like it okay now select this shape and copy and paste it like this now here delete uh, the effect again copy and paste the copy and move this down and make the second copy bigger select the first copy and pathfinder and exclude ungroup unselect this part and delete unnecessary parts and select this part and make it white color yes now let's create the snow we need to create three ellipses white color first one second one and the third one uh, let's look i think the third one we need to make a little bigger okay now let's create uh, the symbols okay new symbol okay and the last one new symbol okay uh, now delete this and let's select this symbol spray tool and first one will be the smallest one like this like you want it's the snow and it's your choice how to spray it okay i think it's enough let's select the middle one like this yes i like it uh-huh and now let's select the biggest one This is great. Okay, our snow is ready. Now select a rectangle tool and draw something like this it will be our clipping mask select all and make clipping mask okay now select again rectangle tool and this color draw rectangle now select ellipse tool and draw ellipse now align ellipse and rectangle a little down and left okay now pathfinder exclude and effect 
style and drop shadow these options okay let's look yep guys our paper cutout effect is ready i hope you like it okay guys that's all for today thank you for watching my tutorial if you like my tutorial please subscribe and give me a like and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design bye bye guys Mwah.